But I really like to come and pray in front of St Francis. I've got a really big devotion to St Francis of Assisi. So I love to come down and have the peace around me and pray to him. It's, you know, really, really peaceful. And if you've got things in your mind, you know, I really think that it settles you, it calms you down. And you feel at peace when you come here. You feel happy. You feel proud to be part of something like this, do you know what I mean? And it's good for young people as well, especially when going through times when it comes and take, like when I was sitting at exams coming up here, and it puts you, it does, it does really settle you, and it makes you kind of relaxed and looks forward to maybe actually doing things like that. So, aye, that helps a lot coming up here, it really does. You see, I spent my whole childhood here in Kirkland. It's a, it means a very lot, a lot to me. It's, it's my, I call it my home. It's always, no matter where you are, I consider it Kirkland as my home. It's been different times, at kind of different periods of my life. I mean, I, I was aware, consciously, they grew up. I went to our ladies' high school in Motherwell. Uh, I remember getting brought up to the grotto many, many years ago. The high burnings were on the go in the 1970s and we used to have big services, just at the, the centre bit there. Uh, then other times you, you, would, you would kind of dip in and out. Uh, maybe, you weren't, maybe at times when you weren't maybe the best kind of Catholic in the world. Uh, then what would happen is you would rediscover it again. Uh, I rediscovered it again maybe about, maybe about ten, actually about 10 years ago. I started coming up now and again, but I've started coming up increasingly now because I find it's great for peace and quiet, contemplation and kind of prayer as well. Uh, despite all the kind of different kind of shenanigans I got up to in my life, I always prayed and it never left me. So that was a kind of thing, you know, a wee bit today with kind of religious formation rather than saying do whatever you want yourself but uh, something been handed on to you, handed down to you and I'm conscious that the grotto has been handed down to us as well because it was our grandparents and great grandparents that built the grotto so it's got a special place I think in the hearts of a lot of uh, people in Scotland particularly those for an Irish Lithuanian heritage in this area in particular because they built the grotto. How do you like to sit here? That's Iron. nice. Iron. 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 It's quite long today because it's so warm, so we thought we would just take a wee drive up and come down for a few hours and just, it's very, very peaceful and it's nice to see people as well at this kind of a time where you don't get the chance to see an awful lot of people and it's nice to see people come here to get some peace and to play um, and there's a kind of a social aspect to it too that you're able to kind of uh, talk to people. Well, we've been coming here forever really since I was their age. Um, I think as well with everybody being off and with everything that's going on, we kind of get to chapel, um, so it's just nice to come up and just walk about, have a wee talk, and you're no under any pressure. But this place now it always has been lovely, but it's actually beautiful. Just now. I mean, people should come here. I mean, this is open to all religions and none. Anybody can come make a friend, and I, I, I'm sure if they came and seen this place the way it is today, it's absolutely beautiful.